said, I'm the grantor over this entire constructed trust. As soon as I said that, she jumped up, grabbed my power of attorney. We were off the phone in two minutes. They pulled my kids from the program they were in and placed them back into their program and upped our benefit. Like we got an updated wow. benefit. Like our cards weren't DS little white cards with the black writing with access. No, ours are like very thin. They come in like, you know how when you get your social and you have to tear your social out of the rest of the paper? Our cards are like that. Don't even look like a regular card. They're like a, almost like a credit card. They have account numbers and, and they're in sequence. Me my, me, my oldest, my youngest. Yep. So it's very beneficial to keep your record. It's also very beneficial to know the difference between your citizen and you and use your citizen for the benefit because that's really what they were created for. They were created to prepay your life. But if you can't get around okay. what each one of them is and what their duty is, the American's duty is to live free or die trying. The U.S. citizen's job is to go out in commerce and make me a return. I need some interest. Right? Make me some securities in the in the market. Right? So one, one pays for the lifestyle of the other. It's not a normal dual citizenship when you think about it, is it? No, this is great perspective. that UCC on file with all your documents and know who you are because then you can take care of all your commercial affairs and you don't need a god dang lawyer to do it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and a lawyer will argue you down, but they'll get up off your case if they can't handle it. It's <laughs> just stay on your square and they they'll crack. I tell them all the time, I said, look, I don't know who appointed you over my commercial affairs, but I'm letting you know right now you're fired. Because you ain't got no business in my commercial affairs. I didn't hire you, and, and I don't need your help. I let them know. Yep, got to let them know. Got, you got to write a letter to these corporations saying, look, I don't know who appointed you fiduciary over my affairs, but whoever, I am now forever terminating your fiduciary duties and I'm appointing myself his fiduciary. And, and believe it or not, you're actually going to have to get, get rid of more than one power of attorney on this journey. Because the IRS got a power of attorney so doggone Trump tight on your name that when 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 you get when you remove that power of attorney and put yourself in, in that one's place, <clears throat> the information about your account and securities will be sent to you in the mail <laughs> from the IRS because the power of attorney that they have put in place, you have removed and put yourself in that place. So now all the securities and the interest payments and the, the 1099 OIDs and the 1096s that were coming to them that they were stealing from you, they no longer can do that. They now come to you. But do you know what to do with them? Right? Would you know what to do with them? I would deposit them into the treasury. And then how do you use that? Like, what does that look like on a daily basis? Once you've deposit them, deposited them, do you are you able to go to the bank and get collateral accounts or, or what? Once once your structure is proper. OK, so the way that we. The way that we have the course is designed. You guys are starting with secure party first. Most people will start with either A for V or secure party. OK. The two of them are like peanut butter and jelly. 